to our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning into Vlogmas, guys. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm actually about to head out and go pick up Justin and I some lunch. And then, I mean, I want you guys to grab you something to eat, maybe grab you a glass of wine, whatever you guys like to do, and come chill, come hang out with us. We got some good stuff that we want to talk about. And so, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we got our Chinese food, y'all. So this is the mayo chicken with um, lo mein noodles. Y'all, I never had mayo chicken until I came to this place. Absolutely love it. And the boys actually really, really like it. I got, um, what's this? Chicken, fried rice. Yeah, so y'all, he, he, he get the same stuff all the time. Chicken fried rice, shrimp fried rice, every type of fried rice. I don't want to be trying to try nothing else. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, you want to bless the food? God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Amen. So, y'all, listen. I'm going to give the, the, this disclaimer now. Y'all are probably like, what in the world are y'all trying to talk about? So, we are going to be talking about Brittany Renner. If you know, you know. So, I, like I told you guys three or four vlogs ago, this is a dysfunctional vlogmas. This is not just your everyday typical vlogmas. So we're gonna eat and we're gonna get into it. Um, keep messing up stuff up, y'all, already. I need to put it right here. Um, so if you know your man, husband father brother they all probably know about Brittany Renner guys she's a social media influencer she's a young woman who I believe correct me if I'm wrong because Justin knew about Brittany Renner before I did she's a she's a beautiful a beautiful girl um but what, what did she first come on the social media doing um she started doing well I think she just used to start out taking like pictures but not like um you know, like bad pictures and nothing like that, but like, um, cause she worked out a lot, so. So she, fitness? Yeah, she was doing fitness in the beginning. And then she, she just blew up off of that. But she was like ahead of her time, though. She was like the, as you say, quote unquote, Instagram model before they really was that. Mm-hmm. So. she actually had like her own thing going on. And I remember, you asked me, did I know her? Something. Like, I remember when we first started talking, you asked me, did I know her or something like that. I don't know how we got on the subject. But somehow we got on the subject, y'all, about Brittany Renner. And she's, um, so fast forward, she's this social media influencer, has millions of followers. Um, you may know her from being the child's, for being the, the child's mother, or what's the word? The mother to PJ Washington's child, who PJ Washington is a, um, Basketball player. Yeah, NBA player, basketball player. Um, they got all kinds of drama going on, y'all. But most recently, she went down to um JS Jackson State. Jackson State, or was it Jackson? No, nah, Jackson State. Jackson, Jackson State, State, right? So she went down to Jackson State. Um, what's that guy's the man's name? Dion. Dion Sanders. Dion Sanders. Y'all, I promise we're gonna get into coach. this. We're gonna, yeah, the coach, Dion Sanders, brought her yeah, down. Coach Jackson State. Brought her down, y'all, to talk to the to the um the team, to the to the college football team, y'all, and basically was putting them up on game. Like, listen, um, this is the reality of the situation. I'm a beautiful young woman. I have a lot of stock, you know. So any girl that you meet is gonna be looking at what you can offer her. This has to be basically a mutual a beneficial relationship, which mm -hmm. I don't think it's out of line. I feel like just like, I feel like you wouldn't get with a bum. I'm not gonna get with a bum. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you get with people that you're in line with. So she's not gonna go above or below what her stock is, which is what she's saying. Um, And she's letting these men know like, you know, you gotta get with it. You gotta get with the times, you know? know about like the, um, I, well, I guess you say like all the check marks. Oh yeah. Y'all. Yeah. And what they expect. She said, listen, my 
um, in Instagram inbox. It's like a Nike store. It's nothing but blue checks. When I told Justin that, he was laughing, y'all. He was like, because he actually, I feel like you. I believe it, though. But I feel like no. you're different from a lot of men in the sense that, well, okay, let me backtrack. I feel like you actually like Brittany Renner. Like, you actually respect her. Because whenever I talk about Brittany like, he never says nothing disrespectful about her. So yeah, I feel like I, you I actually like her. her. Before, like, she, like, blew up, like, before, like, how she is now. Well, I guess well, how people see her now, I guess. Mm hmm So I, I knew her, like, knew about her, like, way before all that. She was real cool, though. Mm. Mine hot. It's hot? Mm-hmm. How is that? No, like, temperature hot. Oh. My chicken is. They just pulled that out. Woo! Yeah. But yeah. So I feel like there's this idea that when you get to this and, and she did she did say that she was like when you get to a certain level like you need to know like what type of women are going to be attracted to you and there's going to be some women that are in it for the right reasons and there's going to be some that are not but it's up to you to determine you know what's real and what's not and i think they had talked about like cheating and you know so, like basically she was like you know, you sell yourself short when you are like cheat. You know, like when you're cheating and stuff. Because now, don't get me wrong. I don't know the whole spill between her and PJ. Like, did he? Do you know anything about that? Like, did he cheat on her or something? Um, well, you know, she do got another video on Vlad TV, but um, but uh, you ain't you ain't watched that, though. No. You watched it? I seen like half of it. But she talked about some stuff in there, so we need to we need to watch that too. But I'm thinking, according to her. Because I did watch some of it with Vlad, y'all, but then I fell asleep. Okay. But I think with her, now again, this is me taking it from her. I have no idea. But she's like saying, basically, like, she was faithful. Like, she was doing right. And she keep getting in these situations where these men are not doing right. But I also feel like she keep going. Now, don't get me wrong. When you get to that level, you are going to be at a certain caliber of, of, of men. But, like... Sometimes you might need to try something different. If it ain't working out, you may need to try something different. Cause she she's always with celebrities. Like she's been tied to a lot of celebrities. Um, not just PJ Washington. She's been actually tied to celebrities, I believe, that are like more what's the word? Not, richer, I guess. Richer, more pop more popular than what PJ is. Like I don't even was PJ popular when she got with him? Like was he kinda like a nobody? No, I mean he wasn't a nobody. He went to Kentucky, but I really never knew about him. Until they got there? Y'all. Um, then at that, tell them what happened at the, at the um, Atlanta game. The Hawks. When he went to the free throw line. Oh. Yeah, when he was at, uh, when that kind of him played the Hawks. I went at the game, but he was at the free throw line and they started chanting her name. So I was like, I don't, I, I hate that. That was me. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Y'all, look at that mayo chicken. Look at that. Mm. What's that mayo? Is that sweet? Try it. Honest reaction. It's alright. It's good. What do you have to say to the young men? I mean, obviously, I know you're not an athlete, but like, what would you say to? What would you say to Jason Jalen? Ooh, what would you say to Jason Jalen? Coming out of high school, going into college where they are top recruits. Mm. What advice would you give them? Mm. Mm. I tell them just keep their head focused. Um, go on where they're trying to go and worry about those stuff later. Yeah, I agree. My thing is, and I'm gonna tell them the same way you do people, the same way they'll do you yeah, so you be respectful and don't have me because listen i'm that crazy mama don't have me up there going off on nobody she okay. always said she'll be in the stands if they play basketball and they get pushed on the ground so oh crazy That's why I don't want to play football, y'all, because I don't well, play them games. That's sport, though. You can't, you can't really do no foul stuff in football. No, you can, but not really, though. But you can more at basketball, though. 
What? Well, I say more contact? intentional. Intentional contact. And what, basketball? Yeah. Yeah, LeBron and that guy? Nah, Who's his name? I don't know. I don't even but that one intentional, right? No, nah, that that one. I don't think that was intentional. He says not that intentional, but everybody one. else on social media is saying it's intentional. It's like if you're if you're a LeBron fan, you're saying it's not intentional. But if you don't like LeBron, then I mean I'm sure you see people uh -huh. saying it's I'm like the biggest LeBron fan. But I, can, I know because I play basketball. I know like it's certain stuff that you learn when you grow up when you plan to like to protect your space in your area when you um when you in the paint and stuff. And that's all he was doing. Try but this. yeah, look. Like he was. What is that? Just try it. I can feed it to you. <laughs> this sauce don't go with it. This is that um yum yum sauce, but it's good though. What is it? Chicken right and cabbage. Mm. You don't like egg rolls? Mmm. No, I don't really care for it too much. Mmm. Yeah, we'll this out the way. But we stay all that the same. So so let me backtrack. I'm not playing them games with my kids. That's why I don't want them to play contact sports because I am that mother that takes it personal. Because because think about this, right? As your child is getting tackled, the other parent's child who did the tackling is screaming and yelling, said, Woo, 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 woo. No. You don't tackle my baby? Them. Yeah, but mm mm. I'm not that. Mm mm. Nope. 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 Not my babies. Not my two that I done held in my stomach. They gonna get tackled. My two boys. My the, the boys that love their mama. And their dad. I, I would tell the boys definitely keep your head straight. Don't get don't get sidetracked with women. Women will come and go. The right one. God will put in your life for you. Because listen, if ain't nobody else living testimony, it's me. Because see, Justin, we could have been married, y'all, ten years ago. But he, he but was. I would. <laughs> picture of Justin. Well, I ain't gonna tell you. I don't even know how you got. I still don't even remember how you got that. Justin's high school shirt. Sweatshirt, y'all, that he used to wear all the time at uh, at Bama. So we we went to college together, went to the University of Alabama. Roll Tide, if you know, you know. Um, and he used to wear this sweatshirt all the time, guys, all the time. Um, and even your mom was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, he loved that school. He was dedicated." She said he would be up there all day, all night, just playing basketball all day, y'all. Y'all, the picture's from 2009. It is 2022. My baby, I would cut off, but um, it's 2022. What took you so long to get your life together to come after me? To get my life together and come after me. Y'all know he was actually doing well, but he came on to me. I didn't come on to him. You came on to me. So you gonna put that on YouTube and lie to these folks? You gonna that let the boys see this? That ain't what I came on to you. I flirted with you in college. I flirted with you in college, but you, y'all, I cast the net. Boom! Whoop, 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 whoop. You think he took the bait? You ain't take the bait. You took me to school. He took me to school one time, y'all. He dropped me off. Mm -hmm. He did take me to school one time. Yeah, you did that. But then he almost ran me over in a crosswalk one time. Nah. You was probably trying to get my attention. Oh, well, that's how you was trying to get my attention. Morning. Yep. So you came on the. So I came on you in Denver. What are you talking about in college? But we talking about right now in Denver. We talking about college. We ain't talking about Denver. That's a different story. You know what's so crazy? You remember um, Be Lovely. You remember we so we always used to be heavy on beloved's my bang. Still love you, beloved. If you ever watch my channel, which probably ain't gonna happen, but if you ever do, just know we rocking with you and we've always rocked with you. But anyway, she has that big water bottle. You remember that? Oh, yeah. And she'd be like, the coldest water bottle in the world. Get your coldest water bottle. Y'all, this this is not that. This, this is not that, y'all. This is just the regular little water bottle from and then I got this one. What, TJ Maxis something? Mm -hmm. But you have all the time though. Just like her. 
Yeah, because it keep it so cold. Ate a lot, but I really didn't. Like, I still have half of my food left, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna eat. Um, that's why I feel like I can never be a mukbang channel. Cause I don't, like, <laughs> I'm a thick girl, okay? But I just can't, like, overeat. Like, I just can't, like, stuff myself, like, you know, cause they be eating them big, huge, like, four burgers, five burgers, 20 chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Like, the most, how many pieces of pizza you can eat? You could probably eat about three, well, four. Like at least, I can, I can eat What's four. the most you can eat before you feel like you couldn't eat no more? Probably four or five. I feel like the most slice of pizza, I already know, the most I can eat would be three. That'd be three. And that's not eating nothing else with it, but like, there's no way I could get the four slices of pizza. There's yeah, no way. Yeah, if I ain't eating nothing else, I'm gonna eat fries with, with it then. Yeah, just to eat fries with pizza. Do y'all, leave a comment below and let me know if you eat fries with pizza. That is, you put me on that. Mm -hmm. He always eat fries with pizza. Whereas for me, I feel like with pizza, you should have salad. <laughs> like that's how I grew up eating pizza. Like we would have my mom would make salad on the side. I mean that's a healthier option than fries, but I always want fries. I feel like we done got completely sidetracked from the whole Brittany Brin Renner situation. But either way, you know, you guys get the vibes. You know, I guess I should wrap. I guess I should say that I actually really enjoyed what she had to say. Like, she didn't come in there. I had this perception of her in my mind and seeing her talking to them college kids, like them college guys, Yeah. I really had a good vibe from it. And I really, really admire that she's using who she is and it's not deviating from who she is. And it's saying, this is what it is. This is how it is. Just know when you make it to this next level, you're gonna run into this. So what are you gonna do? You're either gonna make it or you're gonna fold under pressure. Like, this is just how it is when you get to this place. These are the type of women you're gonna run into. So if you get bamboozled, that's on you. You know what I mean? But she said all that, but then she also said, you still keep your heart open because there are some legitimate good women out there who really want you for you, you know, want you for you. Um, so that when you get that, you cherish it and you hold it tight and, and so forth. So I feel like it was a really good message and I do feel like the audience received it. Like Yeah, the, I feel like they was looking at her like, oh snap. Yeah. All right. They were so shocked that she was there. And they knew who she was off the from the beginning, they knew who she was. But I thought it was a really, really good um, conversation she had with the team. Um, That's different that he did that too and reached, reached out to her to do that. Mm -hmm. What have you always said about Brittany? I wonder if you're going to remember. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, she, um, because she said it too. But that, that sum up what I was A saying. troll. Yeah, a troll. Y'all, yeah. Yeah, she's a troll. Like, yeah, she just she do this because she knows she's gonna get a reaction, yeah. and that's the reason why I, I find it so funny because she's unapologetic about it. Like she's like, yeah, this is who I am, and who are you? Yeah. Like, yeah, so. she's been crazy like that to say, but now it's just magnified because of she just bigger and just all the other stuff going on. Yeah, y'all look at that. Look at these noodles. Justin never gets noodles, y'all, but look at that. Mm. I like my rice. Yeah, he gonna eat all this. He gonna eat all that. I'm done. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoy this impromptu dysfunctional block Miss Mukbang. I don't even know if it's called a mukbang because it's not a whole bunch of food. Is it still called mukbang say. when you eat in front of the camera? I just say eat and talk. Just say eat and talk. That's what it is. Eat, talk. Eat, ooh, E-T-S. Eat, talk. You know what S stands for? <laughs> what is that for? I know what it stands for. What is that for? Eat and talk stuff. Eat. Eat, talk. Sugar, honey, iced tea. Sugar, honey, iced tea. But anyway, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in to our YouTube channel. You know what to do. Don't forget to what? Like, subscribe, comment. 
Bam, until next time, we'll check you guys later.